Welcome to the Work with Plus video tutorial. The Work with Plus is a pattern for GeneXus X created by Develop from the work with that comes with GeneXus. First, we will explain some of the problems which present the current work with pattern, and then we will explain some of the new functionalities that were developed into the Work with Plus that address these issues. Also, we will show some of these functionalities and some conclusions at the end of this demonstration. Many applications based on GeneXus use the pattern work with, but since they need to add new functionalities on the forms or just modify the way and order in which the controls are generated on the screens, these objects end up losing the link with the pattern. After all, what happens is that in most cases, we end up losing the potential that provides the use of the pattern and end up doing particular developments in the objects. Work with Plus intends to solve these problems that force the user into losing the link with the pattern by adding a great deal of flexibility in which the user will be able to select the way in which he wants the objects to be generated, and also into modifying already generated objects for particular developments without losing the link with the pattern. In order to allow the flexibility in which the objects are generated on the screen, Work with Plus changes the concept of what are the nodes of an instance. Let's take a look at the transaction person on the Work with Pattern instance. Here, each node represents some aspect of configuration of the objects that will be generated. For instance, we can specify which filters to add which objects will be displayed, etc. On the other hand, in the Work with Plus pattern, each node not only represents some aspect of configuration, but also it is directly related with in which part of the form the element or functionality will be displayed. Because of this, each element or functionality to be generated has, as a primary node, an HTML table in which that control will be created and shown. This table has many properties, such as the number of fixed columns, and the nodes which belong to the table are drawn from left to right and from top to bottom. Let's see an example with a selection node of the pattern. Here on the preview we can see the table that contains the whole form. Then we have a text block as a title also inside the table. Then we have the table which contains the filters and then we have a table that contains the actions and the grid. In this case, the filters are above the grid, but if we wanted to move the table with the filters to be shown below the grid, all we have to do is move the table from one place to another and the filters will be shown below the table of the grid on the object that will be generated. There are two kinds of nodes, simple nodes and complex nodes. Simple nodes are the ones that correspond directly to a GeneXus control, for example a table or a text block. Complex nodes are nodes that imply some kind of behavior or functionality. For example, when we add a new filter, a variable is created on the form and the associated code is generated in the conditions of the grid. This is how the user has complete flexibility in the creation of the form. Now, let's suppose that our designer has a prototype of all the forms and how they need to be created by default. It would not be efficient if we needed to modify the work with plus instance of each transaction in order to generate the object according to this prototype. If we have a knowledge base of 100 transactions, we would have to repeat this process a hundred times. With this in mind, we created the instant template. The instance template is an element which belongs to the configuration of the work with plus. It represents a tree that is much alike the ones of the instance of each transaction. This tree is from which the instances of each transaction will be generated by default and it allows to select certain properties in which the objects will be generated by the pattern for every transaction. It gives the user the possibility to generalize aspects 
which will be the same for each transaction. For instance, if we wanted that all the selection nodes of our transactions had the filters below the grid, all we have to do is move the table from one place to another again, and then the results would be as expected. This means that all the transactions of our knowledge base will have on the selection node the filters below the grids by default. So, as we said before, this gives the possibility to create one time on the instant template the design of the objects that will be generated by the pattern and all the transactions in which we apply the pattern will inherit this configuration. As we said before, one of the drawbacks of the work with pattern is that we can't modify the objects generated from the pattern without losing the link with the pattern. In order to solve this problem, Work with plus pattern introduces the user tables. Each user table represents an ordinary HTML table which will be inserted on the form wherever the user needs to. The content of each table will be created and modified by the user from the Genexus object directly and will not be overwritten when we reapply the pattern. For example, if we add a user table to the selection node within the primary table, we can select to add a new user table, and we will have to assign a unique name to this user table. In this case, my user table. Then we reapply the pattern and open the object generated. As we open the object, we will be able to see the user table that was just created. Then we can add text to this table, for example, in this case, hello world. We can also resize the table or even change the background color, in this case, to yellow. Then we return to the work with plus instance in order to make some modifications. If we would like to, we could change the position of the table from one place to another. Then we can change the order of some attributes in the grid in order to create more changes. And then we reapply the pattern. After we reopen the object, we will find that our user table has been moved to the position we specified and its content remained after reapplying the pattern. So, the user tables give us the possibility that if the user needs to develop something complex inside the form, he doesn't have to do this inside the instance of the pattern, but uses the potential of the Genexus editor to do this directly on the form just by adding a user table on the instance of the work with plus.